Hello everyone and welcome to the June 2019 Warbirds update for DCS. This video is going to be quite short, partly because I couldn't find terribly much to discuss for the month of June, but also because I'm in the middle of a very complicated and rather time-consuming series of Spitfire comparison videos, so I don't have terribly much time to dedicate to this video. Let's get on with it then. The first piece of news, and probably the main piece of news, was that in the first week of June, we got the release of the Focke-Wulf 190R8. This is a fully flyable, full fidelity module. It is still in early access, and so there are obviously quite a few discussions going on between customers and the developer about various bugs, but it looks like that aircraft is being worked on to bring it up to release standard. Secondly, on the 14th of June, we found out that Ugra Media have been contracted to provide some updates to the Normandy map. These include the following, improved quality of ground textures, quality of noise textures, quality of the coastline, processing of fields and city vector data, quality of the rivers and lakes, the quality of the roads, increased unique objects and scenes, optimization and improved look for the trees and forest, and optimization of the map for virtual reality performance. So quite a nice list of things there. We don't have a release date for that, so at the moment it's uh, back to the old waiting game, but at least some progress is now being made. Also in mid to late June, the developer of the i16, which was released last month, produced a little trailer video. Now in this trailer video, we saw some flying modules, such as the JU-88 there, the JU-87, and a couple of vehicles which we don't currently have in DCS itself. There's a JU-87, for example. Now, there's been some discussion on the forums about whether or not these are actually development aircraft that will be released into DCS, but some people seem to think that this uh, developer video was in fact using some mods. So the development status of those aircraft is still unknown. That concludes the DCS Warbirds update for June 2019. See, I told you it was going to be a quick one. Just before I close out the video, I want to make a quick advert for the DCS Vintage subreddit. It's a very small subreddit with 20 or 25 members. It's only been running for a couple of months but it's basically designed for those people who exclusively want to discuss DCS Warbirds on Reddit. The URL and the sub name are on the screen for you. If you want to join, please come by and join the conversation.